I'm Professor Mark Sims. I work in the Space Research Centre in Physics and Astronomy at the University of Leicester. The rover which is behind me is a prototype of a rover that will land on Mars in 2018 on a European Space Agency mission called ExoMars, which is actually a joint mission with the Americans. The Americans will actually land a rover at the same time on the same landing platform. And ExoMars carries a suite of instruments to look for signs of life on Mars. And the University of Leicester is providing components for three of the seven instruments on board ExoMars. There's one led by Italy, which is an X-ray diffraction instrument, which will look at the minerals on the surface of Mars, or the minerals recovered by the drill, which is actually on ExoMars, which will attain a sample from one to two metres beneath the surface. And also, it, that's a, an X-ray sensitive uh, imaging detector and also a visible imaging detector which will form part of a Spanish-led um, Raman spectrometer which will look at scattered light from the surface of Mars with a, via, a, via a laser system to actually look for both the, min the minerals which are on Mars and also perhaps look for organic compounds, particularly pigments that you might associate with life. The final instrument, the life marker chip, actually is a life detection instrument and that aims to extract organics from the, from the soil recovered by the drill and measure those organics and look for particular molecules that you would associate with both present day life or even past life on Mars or organic compounds that you might associate w with uh, meteorites. There's a lot of meteorites or some meteorites do contain carbon containing compounds. So all in all, the mission with all seven instruments aims to actually address the question, was the environment on Mars suitable for life in the past? Was it suitable, is it suitable for life today? The time frame for this mission is that we're now starting to build the, ins the flight instruments which will actually fly on, on ExoMars in 2018. So we need to build a number of models to test before we actually build the real instrument that flies. The instrument that flies needs to be delivered in 2014. The mission will launch in 2018 and touch down on Mars at the beginning of 2019. And hopefully we'll be getting data from that mission towards the end of 2019, which hopefully produces the stunning scientific results that we all expect. The most challenging aspect is the time scale. It seems rather long. 2014 for delivering the flight instruments but there's an awful lot of work that needs to be done before we build those instruments and we're going to be really pushed to achieve that so in actual fact the real the real challenge is getting everything done in time in order to deliver the instruments in 2014. It would be amazing if we were part of a mission which actually detects whether there's life elsewhere in the solar system and on Mars and that answers a big societal question you know are we alone in the universe if we detect life on Mars it means and we look when we look up at the night sky somewhere out there in space and time something is looking back